This is the second video in our series on creating a master budget. In this video, we're going to put together the budgets for the direct material, direct labor, and manufacturing overhead. We're going to continue with our example from the textbook. Our company produces pants. The raw material for pants consists of two types of material, cotton and fine cotton. For each pair of pants, we've established a standard of three yards per unit for cotton and 0.2 yards for fine cotton. We have estimated beginning inventories and we have established desired ending inventories. We have also established a standard price per yard of cotton and per yard of fine cotton. So we have standard activities for the material and standard price. And of course, this will vary based on the products being manufactured. We could have yards, we could have pounds, we could have gallons, uh, again, all depending on the product. So we're going to take this information along with the information we developed in our production budget to budget for our raw material. All right, so we have to come up with estimates for both our cotton and our fine cotton. And we'll begin with the number of units to be produced. In our earlier video, we determined that we need to produce 170,000 units. So we're going to reference cell B10. Uh, by referencing cells, this allows us to do sensitivity analysis. That is a change in the number of units produced will carry through the whole spreadsheet and allow us to do quick what-if analysis. Our standard calls for us to use three yards of cotton per unit. So in order to manufacture 170,000 units, we're going to need to have 510,000 yards of cotton available. In addition, we want to have an ending inventory of 15,000. And we began with 10,000 yards in our inventory. So our total material required will be our amount needed for production, 510,000, plus what we want at the end, our desired ending inventory, less our beginning inventory. Since we have reference cells, we can quickly copy and paste for our fine cotton. All right, we're going to reference our adjacent cell, and we can quickly copy and paste the material into our fine cotton cell. Next, we need to convert the yards to cost. We do that by using the standards of $3 for cotton and $5 for fine cotton and our material requirements will be the number of yards that we need but multiplied by the standard price. And again, we can copy and paste that. So the total that we'll need for material is 1,715,000. We can then proceed on to our direct labor budget. Again, we will reference our production budget that call for the production of 170,000 units. We have established that each pair of pants will take a half hour 
of direct labor. And our standard cost for direct labor is $22 per hour. So the direct labor hour per unit is our standard of a half hour. The number of hours we will need to work on the budgeted production is 85,000. And we will then multiply that by our standard direct labor cost per hour. And our budgeted labor cost will be 1,870,000. Again, we can move now to the last component of our product cost, and that is our overhead. We have two types of overhead in this operation. We have variable overhead that will change in total based on the number of units that we produced. And we've identified three types of variable overhead. We have indirect materials and supplies. Uh, these would be things like uh, lubricants for the sewing machines, uh, needles, uh, other things that we need for production, uh, but do not go into the actual product itself. We have material handling, the cost of moving the uh, garments uh, around the factory floor and the raw material from storage to the factory floor and taking the finished goods from the factory floor and putting them in our warehouse. And we have other indirect labor we've identified as variable at, at 10 cents per unit. So again, we're going to build our budgeted variable overhead based on the number of units that we produce. So again, we'll go back to our production budget. We'll reference our cell B10. For our indirect materials, we're going to take our budgeted production, multiply it by the variable cost per unit. We'll do the same thing for our material handling and the same thing for our indirect labor. So our total variable overhead will be the sum of our three types of variable overhead. We're not finished yet because we also have manufacturing overhead that is not variable, such as the salary of supervisors. A supervisor will be paid the same whether we produce 150,000 units or 250,000 units. Uh, we also have things like uh, depreciation. Uh, keep in mind when we do our cash budget that depreciation, while it's an expense during the period, does not cost cash. It's not a cash expense. The cash flow occurs when we purchase the new equipment. So our total fixed overhead is the sum of our individual overhead amounts. So we have fixed overhead of 544,000, variable overhead of 136. And that completes the product cost budget. Next, we're going to move on in a separate video to the cost of goods sold.